In this video, you're going to learn how to create a simple text reflection effect, and we're going to do some video in text as well. So the first thing we'll do is just pick our video track that we want to put inside of text. Technically, you don't even have to put a video inside, but why not? And then we're going to grab our type tool, head to the program window and click on our program window to start typing. So I'll just use the word text. If we head over to the essential graphics panel on the right hand side, we can choose everything from like the size and the alignment so I can center align it in different ways and I can choose the font. In this case, I'm using Futura Bold, but you can use whatever you want and we'll keep it white. It doesn't really matter because we're going to fill it in with the video. The next thing we're going to do is I'll actually just expand this text a bit just so it lasts as long as I need the entire video clip. And I'm going to head over to my effects panel and search for one called track matte key. This is in the keying video effects folder and I'll click and drag this not on the text layer, but on the video track that we were originally working on. So once I have it added to that layer, I'll highlight that clip, head to the effect controls panel, and you should see the track matte key there. And we can just choose the matte layer. So right now it's at none, whatever track that your text is on. In my case, that's V2. So video two, we're going to click that. And that'll use the shape of the text to fill in the shape of the video. So what we've done so far is create a simple video in text effect. You can also reverse it, but it's a more of a cutout. And next we're going to create the reflection, the point of this tutorial. So let's add a new adjustment layer on our project. So I'll highlight my project panel, go to file, new adjustment layer and press okay. And you should see it pop up in your project panel and I'll click and drag that on top of everything. So in this case, video track three, and I'll also extend that clip out as long as I need it to be. And on this adjustment layer, we're going to add a mirror effect. So that's in the distort video effect folder. And I'll click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And I'll actually highlight the mirror effect in the effect controls panel. And then we should see this little dot appear. We can drag this dot over to start to see where to place the effect. But I'm actually going to change the reflection angle to 90 degrees. And I'll just type that in rather than using sliders. And you can either use the sliders of the Y axis or just drag the dot when you have the effect highlighted in the program window and you have your selection tool active. It should allow you to move this dot and we'll create a reflection. So you can have it literally touching the text or you can have it slightly off. So there's an illusion of some floor or something. And what we're going to do to give it that faded reflection effect is add a mask onto this effect. So I will just start with a four point polygon. It'll start like this. I can move it around and just stretch the four corners so that they are uh, covering the amount of text that I want. And then I, what I'm going to do is add a lot of mask feather. So I'll just really ramp up that feather a lot. And, you know, you can do it up to your taste, but now we can move this around and we can show or hide more of the reflection. So something like this is fine for me. We have a little bit of a reflection. And as we play the video, uh, this is a really slow moving video, but you can see everything that's happening is reflected in the text as well. So from here, you can use this sort of thing as a building block for different sort of intros and things. But hopefully this gave you a couple cool tips and tricks on adjustment layers and masks and track mats. If you enjoyed this video, I have several more like it and hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.